Hello friends, welcome to data making. Uh, last few videos we installed Python followed by we installed Java and then Hadoop we installed it. We installed the other software is MySQL database we installed. In this, we are, we are going to, in this video we are going to focus on how to install a Scala and a SBT as a runtime and then followed by the Apache Spark which is the in-memory distributed data processing engine or you can call unified analytics engine. Right, let's get started. So, if you uh, uh, follow this uh, project setup documents, we have all the setup files inside the docs folder. Uh, so, just open that and we are following this setup.txt file and we are installing the software based on the order we given. So, we completed three steps. We are in the fourth uh, step where we are installing Spark. Then, next video, we will install Kafka. Okay, open this file. Spark, install Spark uh, file. So it's going to be a very simple step. Don't worry. So so we assume. So prerequisites are Java should be installed, Python should be installed before you install the Spark. All right. So we are going to install first Scala and SPT. Then we will install the Spark. Okay. Now uh, to I'm just going to run this command from my putty session. Uh, I'll just go to the home directory. Okay, so I am in the home directory, which is home dot data making. Right now, uh, we are going to download the SPT from this URL. Just refer this URL and pick this version. You can pick whatever the version you want to install. Uh, but why I'm using the uh, uh, so basically uh, Spark 3.x is build on the Scala version from 3.12 onward so you can use even 13 also you can use so I'm going with the Scala 12 version so just download this file using the uh, the URL given so it will take some time based on your internet bandwidth to 20 MB data sorry file so I'm going to copy this call of uh, binary file to the software folder where I'm maintaining all the software using the move command and similarly I'm going to okay so, okay first we'll extract this file using the tar command tar space hyphen xcf followed by the scala hyphen 2.12.16.tg is that file so it says no such file yeah since we moved there we'll just go to the so work area software So now run this tar command. It is uh, downloaded, sorry, extracted here. We set, set this Scala uh, uh, path, installation path in the variable, the Scala home variable. So just take this, it exporting. So make sure the path is given correctly, right? That's the reason I'm asking to have the username as data making and follow the folder structure. If you are following your own folder structure, just change this command accordingly. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, now we need to open the the bash rc file from home directory. Dot bash rc, and then just come bottom of the screen. Then control O, just refresh that using the source command. Okay, now we refresh it. We also download the SPT file. So we have a SPT file here. So you can download as per your wish what is the version you want to download. Uh, I don't need to run the move command still I'm all uh, directly downloaded in the software folder so I'll just extract this well extracted so I'm going to set this SPT home also uh, SPT SPT is basically Scala build tool or simple build tool to generate SPT based to, uh, to use SPT based uh, spark project we we installed that Future we might be using that, so that's the reason I'm installing it. So now using the nano editor again, open the dot bash rc file.
okay so this is also done save this and source this file to refresh the environment variables this is also done now let's download the spark okay so okay so we are going to download the latest version of spark so just navigate to this url so apache spark can be downloaded the binary from downloaded from apache uh, spark.apache.org/downloads.html and we are going to download the latest version which is 3.3.0 uh, which is pre built against the adobe version 3 that's the reason the previous test we installed the adobe 3.2. Uh, 4 so it's adup 3.3 version onwards it will work properly right so fine uh, so if you click this you will get this url so i have taken this url and i'm going to download this file so okay again i am directly downloading in the softwares folder so you need to run the you don't need to run the move command if you are downloading from different location you just move that file to the uh, software folder so i can directly run the tar zz command to extract this file so it is extracting extracting is done so we have a, a spark 3.3.0 is extracted here we set the spark home to access different uh, uh, spark uh, libraries take this uh, again open, using the nano editor tilde slash dot shrc file scroll down uh, again paste it and save this exit and again i will just refresh this file using the source command okay now i can check what is the spark summit version so spark summit is the utility it's a command line utility using that you can submit your spark job which is written in either scala or java or java and scala which can be in form of a jar file in pyspark it is in the .py file or if you run in a, a spark car which is the spark car uh, uh, variable so whatever you whatever you uh, in, um, uh, the standard application which is written in different programming language you can take that okay and you can run run those uh, jobs using the spark commit command so spark commit command is kind of a wrapper script which will help you to submit your job to the spark cluster and you can specific pyspark cli is there where you can this is a utility to run your uh, python pyspark uh, code uh, code snippet and directly inter interact with spark and similarly we have a spark shell which is for uh, running your uh, scala based uh, spark api uh, code snippet in the command line interface so if you want to launch the py spark right which we will be using in this project for just testing few code snippets so this is how it will launch right so it will generate the spark session object for you which and also spark context object in the name of esc spark session object in the name of uh, spark right so that's it uh, from the spark installation perspective we are done with the spark installation the last uh, uh, installation we are pending with the kafka which we'll do in the next video thank you so much friends